Strictly on the smooth tip as we take no shorts and distress the session with some urban street range. Biz Markey, welcome to the Ensign Rap Show. Uh, Biz, how did you get your name, brother? Well, I used to be busy getting in trouble, and my name is Marquis anyway, so I put them both together. And well, that's your name. Tell me how your style differs from the fat boys and say Dougie Fresh. Well, Doug, he's got like, he's like more of a precise beatbox, like a more of an instrument. Fat boys, you know, they're good, but I guess they just do, you know, what they're gonna do. Show us your style, man. My name is Biz Marquis, the human ongest. And sh show me how that differs from Dougie Fresh. Uh, well, Doug, Doug Fresh style is like. <laughs> Fat boy's <is> like. <laughs> you know. My style is like more, I got like more different kind of variety. That is king size, brother. We'll get back to that in a minute. We're gonna get back to some video. Best and biggest records on the street is the Vapors. Tell us the story behind the Vapors. Oh, check this out. Here's how it go. Westwood TV and even the press said what's the meaning of V-A-P-O-R-S. The meaning of this word without no doubt means nobody want to be down when you're down and out. Now when you got a house and then you got money, everybody want to be your buddy and honey. Just like New York got a lot of skyscrapers. Yo, this is the meaning of the vapors. Safe pro. How true is that? That is definitely true. Every, every, every episode that I talked about is true. You know, like Swan tried to talk to this girl, but she wanted to talk to drug dealers and stuff. And then, you know, Kane, people didn't like him around this way, but now they like him. And, you know, Vaughn um, Cool V, he tried to get this job in his store. And, you know, all my, you know, everything, you know, everybody looked at me, underrated me as a rapper. And, but then I just sat down and wrote stuff to myself. And it's like a more, more of a revenge thing, you know, like. Putting it back in your face. And that's how you get into effect. We're going to take a break now. So after the pause for the cause, we've got more from the... What's the story behind Picking Boogers, which was a big street hit for you over here? Well, Picking Boogers, to me, you know, that came from my heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the incidents really happened. You know, when I was in school or when I was on the train or with the girl. You know, so I said, I wanted to put it away where it wasn't nasty, but it was still funny, and what a deaf Can you give some of that rap now? Yeah. <clears throat> now let me take a trip down memory lane, back in public school with my partner Kane. When I was class clown, and he was my brother, sitting at the desk plucking bookers at each other. Never do we work as we were supposed, cause we were too busy digging up our nose, you know? <laughs> What was the reaction to the radio stations in New York? Did they play that? Nah, they only the like the midnight shows, you know, like the night shows. They didn't play it because they said it was, you know, oh, it's about boogies. What if you be at your dinner table and you know? Tell me about Biz's dance because that was one of the big things of the tour. Where did that come about? Oh, see, I was every, ever since like five or six years old. I always been, did the Biz dance. You know what I mean? Sure. You know, you gotta go like this. You gotta throw your legs up, you know. <laughs> and uh, you've just finished your UK tour. You've been up the country to Nottingham, to Wales. How, what do you think of the UK scene? They're like really up. They're yeah. straight. Friday night, Saturday morning, and we ain't honey dreaming. Here's Cool Mo D, Armed and Dangerous. What are your plans for the future? Well, he's working on a cartoon with me, Adventure of Bismarck. Or, or it's called Mouth Man, you know. And a lot of other stuff, a lot of other records that's gonna bug people out. Mm. And what has this cartoon, what's the story behind the cartoon, how's that going to work? Like, I'm like a, a superhero and I beatbox my way out of trouble. Yeah. And I heard there's room of getting a doll as well. Yeah, and you pull a string and it goes, I want to, I want to, you know. Wild. <laughs> and t tell me, do you think rappers have much power to influence and change things? Yeah, kind of, but, but, they, but people, the, um, the general public ain't taking people seriously. You know what I mean? Like like us rappers. They looking at it as a fad, like like bell bottom pants or something. And what's the political situation like in the States at the moment? Mm, it's like kind of like controversial. Can you give us a few more beats? Yeah. You want a little something? Yeah. Okay. Brother, I don't know what this world going to. 
Yeah. It's Mark Key, respect is due, respect to you. Nobody beats the biz. The Night Network Show, cooling and ruling. We're out of here. We're going to be back in seven days' time. Yeah.